Guys, so check this out. We've been working on this for a very long time, but the real-time notes feature is finally ready to go live. What you'll see on the right-hand side is this panel, and Fireflies is creating short, concise, crisp, bullet point notes in outline format, like a human would. You can actually see Fireflies thinking and typing those notes, which is super cool. In addition to the notes, Fireflies is also generating action items and assigning them to the right people. It's 2025, everyone's talking about agents and voice agents, but I couldn't think of a more perfect time to roll this out because I think this will be a killer feature that a lot of people will love. Now, if people wanna actually see the full transcript, they can go click on the transcript tab and see that for themselves as well. And if they wanna bookmark any important moments in the call, you'll see these five icons at the bottom and you can bookmark important tasks and moments. Also, there's a soundbite feature here, so I can take the last 40 seconds of a meeting and turn that into a shareable soundbite clip. If it's been a very long meeting and you're getting distracted or you haven't been paying attention, you can simply ask Fred to summarize the meeting so far or ask any questions and boom, it'll instantly give you those answers so you're always paying attention on the call. I'm really excited for the launch of this. I've been using this almost every day. It'll be going out to all of our Google Meet users, Zoom and Microsoft Teams users, will soon follow. Right now, the real-time notes will be for English, but other languages will be supported very soon. Millions of people already use Fireflies today for note-taking. Usually you have to wait a few minutes before the notes come out. Now it'll be instant, it'll be real-time, it'll feel magical. Also, five minutes before a meeting ends, Fireflies will actually send the action items directly in the chat, like right here. So all the action items assigned to all the right people. This is pretty cool. So even if I don't open the real-time panel, I can see the action items right here.